Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to test the API with the get method and we will also be using a chat GPT. So let's begin. For this particular tutorial, I will be using a dummy example REST APIs. And for this, let's go to this website called dummy REST API example.com. Let's copy this URL from here. Go to the browser, paste this URL here. And this is a website from where you get the dummy example APIs. So these are the REST APIs and they have provided all the details here. And in this tutorial, we are focusing on this particular get method and we have these two APIs. So basically, the first example here is regarding to get all the employee data. So if I access this API, this is a full route of this API it will return all the data of the employees and if i want to return the particular data of one employee i can provide the id of that particular employee so get call is basically fetching the data from the server so we don't need to provide additional information it's just like a simple http request so just like we open this website i can hit this url on the browser you will get the data so let me copy this complete route from here and paste it in the browser so you will get this particular result so this is a JSON format and it returns us the employee with the ID 1 name of the employee, employee salary, age, profile image and message successfully record has been fetched so this is really simple in terms of the browser now let's go to the postman here and let's hit this one to see it in a more appropriate way the first thing is that we need to select the method from this list so this is the get call provide the url and we don't need to provide anything else just click on send button here and so it says that too many requests so let's send it again send it again send it again Send it again. So actually this is an open website. So most of the time when most of the people are using this one, so they are returning this four to nine. So basically uh, this is the data and now this is the proper format. So we can see that this particular user has been fetched. Okay. Now how we can use this one in Cypress. So in Cypress, let's go to the browser here and search for Cypress request so go to this official link here and here you will find the cy dot request so cy dot request is basically a method here through which we can call the apis okay so here are different syntaxes the first one is cy dot request where we can only provide the url in some cases we need to provide the url and body in some cases we can provide the method and url and in some cases we can provide the method url and body as well similarly in some cases we have more options to provide right now this is a very basic syntax cy.request and the url okay so let me copy this from here and let's go to the visual studio code here i will be creating uh, one folder here into the integration folder and i am naming it as api testing because this would be a series of tutorials on api testing so that's why i have created a separate folder here inside this one let me create a one file i'm calling it as get api.js and that's it now uh, let me copy some basic line of code from my previous tutorials so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and let me remove this line of code because we don't need this one and validate validate get api and me write here learning learning get api testing right so simply uh what we need is that uh sorry 
so cy dot request so we can put a request here and inside this one what we need to do is that we need to provide the url so just like we saw that we just need a url here in case of get we can just provide the url and run this test it will execute the our get api so let me go to the browser again and let me copy this url from here let me copy this one and let me go back to the visual studio code here paste it here and uh, you know that's it this this is a very simple way to just you know hit this url and get the response right let me save this one and now let me open the cypress runner so npx cypress open so meanwhile it will open so what we need to do so once we hit this url we will get this response right and as automation tester what we need to do is that we need to verify a data here right so for this let me go here and here what we need to do is that we need to resolve this thing for that we need to use then dot then hit this one then here what we need we need some variable to store the data then we are using a callback function here and now we have all the data coming in this particular variable so once we get the response the response has basically multiple things so if i go here so it has a status code it has this body this has headers as well so multiple things are coming so in order to verify something from the body so what we will do is that response dot body okay and then we will assert the value so this is the way so uh, the first thing we can uh, assert the status code so simply expect then response dot then you can see that we have a status here dot status dot equal and it should be equal to 200 this is a very basic assertion here so let me save this one go here and let me go to my api testing section here click on this one and see what happens so it will hit this api and assert the value so because we are expecting 200 equal to 200 because this api should return 200 here so if i go back to the body so it is returning us a 200 status here the first thing we can verify this thing the second thing is that we need to ensure that the complete payload this is our second test here so let me copy this one and let's go to the visual studio code here and simply what i'll do is that expect then response dot body right dot to dot deep dot equal and here inside this one we need to provide a complete payload so this is a complete payload we are receiving and this is we are asserting here so let me save this one let me save this one and see what happens so yes uh we have deeply asserted this object this is a complete json object and this is what we are getting in the response what else we can assert here we can assert that in response we have this message property and message property is having this particular value so this is what we need to assert here so for this let me go back to the visual studio code here and then let me write it above here so expect and here again response dot body right then dot to dot have dot property and what property we are expecting here is basically a message 
and what is a message we are getting here so let me copy this complete message from here and let's go back to the Visual Studio code and let's provide this one here and that's it so let me save this one and let's see yes uh, this test case also got passed because it says that expected to have a property message and the second assertion is that expected the property of message is basically successfully recorded has been fetched right the third thing is that we can also assert the direct value here for example if i go back here and if i want to assert this value okay so employee salary is basically this one so for that one uh, what i'll do is that i will create one variable here and i will save the value in that particular value so i'm creating a variable let employ salary employ salary is equals to so basically where it lies so it lies inside response dot body and after the body it lies inside the data right so body dot data then dot employ salary so now in this particular variable we have the value of this particular salary so what i'll do is that i'll copy this one from here and simply what i'll do is that expect then what i'm expecting employ salary two dot equal and here simply i will provide the value of the salary and this is how you can actually traverse towards the object so this is the main level property and the id and id employee name employee salary are on the nested level and they are under this data so let me go back here and let me provide the value here and that's it so these are very basic assertions and these are very common assertions as well so let me save this one and let's see what happens so all of our test cases has passed expected 3208002 equal to this one this is our test for the employee salary then this one for the particular property particular property having the value status code and the complete object now let me go to the chat gpt and see what chat gpt suggests us about this one and let's see because uh, there are multiple ways to handle the request so let me log in into chat gpt and uh, let me go with my google account here so let me do this yes we are logged in successfully into the chat gpt so in automation sample so automation chat i will ask chat gpt how to test get method rest api using cypress so see what happens uh, to test a get method for a rest api using cypress you can use a cyr dot request that's correct so start by separating a test file so this is a test file and it suggests to you know send the method because uh, we don't need to send a method here and this is also correct here and you can also assert the length and all the things so pretty much it's a very very uh, uh, you know what we are doing in terms of getting this particular api with the get method and here again uh, just like here uh, what happens is that chat gpt is explicitly uh, you know sending a method here right and sending a path of the api and this is we, we can also do this because here you can see this we can provide the method and the url as well but this is a get call we can simply you know hit the call and we will get the data so we don't need to provide in this particular case but again the chat gpt is suggesting us a correct way to handle or to automate the rest api with the get method Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.